Welcome to Celeb Memorial TV. Join us as we honor and remember the lives of famous personalities who have touched our hearts. Stay updated with the latest news, tributes, and stories about the stars we've lost. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's pay tribute to the legacies of these unforgettable icons. Elisa Montes, who passed away at the age of 89 on October 9th, was a distinguished Spanish actress whose legacy spanned decades in the world of Spanish cinema and theater. Born into an artistic family, Montes took her stage name from El Gato Montes, a celebrated work by her grandfather, the renowned composer Manuel Pinella. Her life and career were deeply connected to her rich family heritage, with her sisters, Emma Pinella and Terele Pavez, both becoming respected actresses, and her daughter, Emma Ozores, continuing the family tradition in the arts. Monte's career began in the golden era of Spanish cinema, where she quickly became a familiar face. Her poise, elegance, and magnetic on-screen presence captured the hearts of audiences, making her a beloved figure in Spanish film. She skillfully took on a variety of roles, showing her versatility and dedication to her craft. Her collaborations with her husband, actor Antonio Ozores, were particularly memorable, as their shared passion for acting brought an added depth and warmth to their performances together. Throughout her career, Monte received numerous accolades, including the prestigious Asfan Award in 2017. This recognition celebrated her contribution to Spanish cinema and honored her as an influential figure in the industry. She was presented with the award by her daughter, Emma Ozores, and close friend, Alberto Delacqua, underscoring the admiration and respect she earned from her family friends, and colleagues alike. Elisa Monte's legacy extends far beyond her filmography. She was part of a creative lineage that shaped Spanish culture, and her influence is carried on by her family and the many actors she inspired. Known for her grace, warmth, and unwavering dedication to the arts, Montes will be remembered not only as a talented actress, but also as a cherished figure who left an indelible mark on Spanish cinema. Her passing marks the end of an era yet her contributions to film and theater will continue to resonate, reminding audiences of her remarkable talent and the enduring legacy of the Pinella family. Frank Fritz, who passed away at the age of 60, was a beloved television personality best known for his role on American Pickers. As a central figure in the History Channel's hit show, Fritz, along with his longtime friend and co-host Mike Wolf, brought the joy of treasure hunting into millions of homes. Traveling across America, Fritz had a unique talent for discovering hidden gems in the most unexpected places, from forgotten attics to old barns, always with a sharp eye for vintage motorcycles and bikes. Frank's journey on American Pickers began in 2010, and over more than 300 episodes, he captivated viewers with his charm, wit, and enthusiasm for uncovering the past. What set him apart was not just his expertise in antiques, but his genuine, down-to-earth personality that made him relatable to audiences everywhere. His humor and sensitivity, often seen on screen, were true reflections of his character in real life. Mike Wolf, who had known Fritz for more than half of his life, described him as a dreamer who was just as sensitive as he was funny, a testament to the kindness and warmth that Fritz brought both to his friendships and to his work. Sadly, Fritz had been out of the public eye following a stroke in 2022, but his legacy continued to resonate with fans and collectors alike. The History Channel and American Pickers producer Cineflix production honored him as the bearded charmer whose love for vintage finds and history left an enduring mark on the world of television. Frank Fritz's passion for finding forgotten treasures and his infectious enthusiasm made him a cherished figure in the world of reality TV. He will be remembered not only for his years on American Pickers, but for the joy and excitement he shared with so many through his love of antiques and the stories they carried. He will be deeply missed by fans, friends, and loved ones, but his legacy of exploration and discovery lives on. James Kent who passed away at the age of 45 due to a heart attack, was a visionary American chef whose culinary brilliance and dedication left a profound impact on the food world. Known for his innovative approach to fine dining and his unrelenting pursuit of excellence, Kent achieved extraordinary success over his career, shaping New York City's culinary landscape with iconic establishments like 
11 Madison Park, Nomad, Crown Shy, and Saga. Kent's journey in the kitchen began at just 15 years old. As a summer apprentice at Boulay, he continued to build his skills at prestigious institutions like Le Cordon Bleu and Johnson and Wales University before refining his craft in the kitchens of Babo, Jean-Georges, and Gordon Ramsay. In 2007, he joined 11 Madison Park, where he quickly rose from line cook to chef de cuisine, playing a pivotal role as the restaurant earned three Michelin stars and a spot on the world's 50 best restaurants list. His talent and leadership at 11 Madison Park helped elevate the restaurant to new heights, marking it as a staple of fine dining in New York City. In 2010, Kent achieved a remarkable milestone by winning the Bocus d'Or USA, a prestigious competition that celebrates culinary excellence. He went on to represent the United States in Lyon, France, showcasing his skills on the international stage and placing 10th. His dedication and passion for the art of cooking were evident throughout his career, which included a successful tenure as executive chef at The Nomad, where he helped the restaurant earn its first Michelin star. In 2019, Kent founded Crown Shy and Saga, both located in the historic 70 Pine Street building in New York. Crown Shy, with its vibrant and modern menu, earned one Michelin star, while Saga garnered two, cementing Kent's reputation as a trailblazer in the culinary world. His work extended beyond these restaurants to the bar Overstory, located just above Saga, where he continued to push the boundaries of what a dining experience could be. James Kent's legacy is one of creativity, skill, and passion. He is remembered not only for his achievements in the kitchen, but also for his warm personality and dedication to his craft. He leaves behind his wife, Kelly, and their two children, Gavin and Avery. Kent's influence on the culinary world endures, inspiring chefs and food lovers alike with his innovative spirit and lasting impact on the art of fine dining. Sissy Houston, who passed away on October 7th at the age of 91 after a battle with Alzheimer's disease, leaves behind an enduring legacy as one of the most influential voices in gospel and soul music. As a founding member of the renowned R&B group, The Sweet Inspirations, Sissy sang backup for iconic artists like Aretha Franklin, Elvis Presley, and Chaka Khan. Her extraordinary talent and versatility paved the way for her to establish a successful solo career, earning two Grammy Awards in the traditional gospel album category. Born Emily Drinkard on September 30, 1933, in Newark, New Jersey, Sissy was raised in a musical family deeply rooted in gospel traditions. She began singing with her siblings in the Drinkard Singers, a group that performed at legendary venues such as Carnegie Hall and the Newport Jazz Festival. The Drinkard Singers' success set the stage for Sissy's later accomplishments with the Sweet Inspirations, whose powerful harmonies made them a sought-after group in the 1960s and beyond. With her stunning vocals featured on classics like Aretha Franklin's Ain't No Way, Sissy became synonymous with the soul of gospel music. Sissy's influence extended far beyond her own career. As the mother of Whitney Houston, she nurtured and inspired one of the world's most celebrated voices. Sissy also stood by her daughter through personal struggles, demonstrating an unwavering strength and commitment to family. Her legacy lives on not only through Whitney, but also through her grandchildren and the generations of artists she inspired. A devoted member of the New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, Sissy was more than a singer. She was a pillar of her community and a guiding force in gospel music for over 50 years. Her contributions to McDonald's Gospel Fest and her mentorship of young gospel singers solidified her status as a cherished figure within the church and beyond. Sissy Houston's impact on music and culture cannot be overstated. Her voice, passion, and faith have touched countless lives, and her spirit will continue to resonate through the timeless songs she helped bring to life. Her legacy as a gospel legend and a loving mother and grandmother will be remembered fondly by all who knew her story. Ron Hale, who passed away at the age of 78, leaves behind a legacy that resonates deeply within the hearts of daytime television fans. Known for his compelling portrayals on beloved soap operas, Hale brought unforgettable characters to life, most notably Roger Coleridge on Ryan's Hope and Mike Corbin on General Hospital. His career spanned decades, and his work earned him a loyal fan base and respect within the entertainment industry. 
Born with a natural talent for acting, Ron Hale found his calling early in life, quickly making his mark in television. His role as Roger Coleridge on Ryan's Hope made him a household name, as he appeared in the series for its entire run from 1975 to 1989. He brought a depth to the character that captivated viewers, who followed Roger's journey over the years with heartfelt engagement. In 1995, he joined the cast of General Hospital as Mike Corbin, father to the iconic character Sonny Corinthos. In this role, Hale showcased his ability to portray complex emotions, as he depicted the ups and downs of a father-son relationship strained by history and circumstance. Hale's portrayal of Mike Corbin earned him admiration and praise for his nuanced, empathetic performance. Through his work, he brought attention to important issues, such as addiction and reconciliation, and the way his character evolved became a powerful storyline for General Hospital fans. After announcing his retirement in 2010, Hale left the show, but his impact on both the series and its audience remained. Beyond his roles on television, Ron Hale was known for his kindness, professionalism, and dedication to his craft. His colleagues remember him as a gracious and generous actor, and his fans remember him as a familiar face who brought both joy and tears to their lives. His legacy as a soap opera legend will live on in the hearts of those who watched him and through the memorable characters he brought to life. Ron Hale's contributions to the world of daytime television have left an indelible mark and he will be greatly missed. Kenny Hyslop, who passed away at the age of 73, was a Scottish drummer whose talent and passion for music left an indelible mark on the UK music scene. Known for his energetic drumming style and innovative spirit, Hyslop brought a unique rhythm and intensity to every band he played with, leaving a legacy that spanned genres and decades. Born on February 14, 1951, in Helensburgh, Scotland, Hyslop first rose to prominence in the band Salvation alongside Midge Ure, a group that later evolved into Slick. As his career unfolded, Hyslop continued to expand his influence, joining the Zones and later the Skids, before becoming the drummer for Simple Minds in 1981. During his time with Simple Minds, he recorded the hit single Promised You a Miracle, a song that marked the band's entry into the mainstream and became a defining moment in their discography. He also appeared in the music videos for Sweat in Bullet and Love Song, helping to promote the Sons and Fascination album. After leaving Simple Minds in 1982, High Slop's musical journey continued as he formed Set the Tone with bassist Bobby Patterson, exploring new sounds and solidifying his reputation as a versatile and creative musician. He later formed the One O'Clock Gang, which released an album through Arista Records, further showcasing his talent. Throughout his career, Hyslop collaborated with a range of artists, including working with Les McKeon and touring with Midge Ure on the Gift World Tour in 1985. In addition to performing, Hyslop became a dedicated drumming instructor, teaching at Carlton Studios in Glasgow and inspiring a new generation of musicians. Even as he battled prostate cancer, he remained passionate about music, sharing his work on MySpace and continuing to produce new sounds. Kenny Hyslop's impact on the music world is a testament to his creativity, resilience, and dedication. He will be remembered for his contributions to the bands he helped shape and for his influence as a teacher. Hyslop's legacy lives on in the music he created and the countless lives he touched, both on and off the stage. He will be dearly missed but his rhythms and spirit will continue to resonate. Tommy Cash, who passed away at the age of 84, was a cherished American country musician whose career spanned over five decades. Known for his rich baritone and poignant lyrics, Tommy carved out his own space in the country music world while proudly carrying on the legacy of his family name as the younger brother of the legendary Johnny Cash. Born in Dias, Arkansas on April 5, 1940, Tommy was the youngest of seven siblings. Music was a constant presence in his life, and by high school he had formed his first band, igniting a lifelong passion for performing. After graduating, he served in the U.S. Army, where he continued his love of music as a disc jockey for the Armed Forces Radio Network, sharing country sounds with fellow servicemen and women. Following his military service, Tommy pursued music professionally, 
initially signing with Musicor Records in 1965. He joined United Artists Records the following year, marking the beginning of a fruitful career. In 1969, he found major success with his biggest hit, Six White Horses, a heartfelt tribute to John F. Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy, and Martin Luther King Jr. The song resonated deeply with listeners and solidified his place in country music. His chart-topping singles continued into the 1970s with songs like One Song Away and Rise and Shine, penned by Carl Perkins as well as I Recall a Gypsy Woman, which became a fan favorite. Tommy's talent wasn't confined to the recording studio. He continued performing well into his later years, connecting with fans across generations. Beyond his music career, he also found success as a realtor, notably listing the Hendersonville, Tennessee home of Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash following their passing. Tommy Cash's legacy is one of heartfelt music and unwavering dedication to his craft. His songs captured the spirit of an era and touched the lives of many. He will be remembered for his contributions to country music, his commitment to his family, and his warm, down-to-earth nature. Though he is gone, his voice and music will live on, carrying forward the stories and sounds that made him a beloved figure in the world of country music. Jeffrey Hinsliff, who passed away at the age of 86, was an English actor celebrated for his long-standing role as Don Brennan on Coronation Street. A familiar face on British television, Hinsliff brought both drama and depth to his characters, leaving a lasting impact on audiences across generations. Born in Leeds on November 23, 1937, Hinsliff's passion for the stage began early. At the age of 16, he performed with the Leeds service of youth players before refining his craft at RADA. His television debut came with Z Cars, leading to a varied career that saw him appear in iconic shows like Dixon of Doc Green, Adam Adamant Lives, The Professionals, and Heartbeat. His film work included a memorable role in A Bridge Too Far, showcasing his versatility as a performer. It was in 1987 that Hinsliff became a household name through his portrayal of Don Brennan on Coronation Street, a role he played for a decade. Brennan's complex storylines, including turbulent marriages and dark plot twists, resonated with viewers. Hinsliff's portrayal captured the intensity and vulnerability of his character, making Don Brennan one of the soap's most memorable figures. His interactions with co-stars, including Denise Black and Amanda Berry, further highlighted his talent for delivering layered, engaging performances. His character's exit in 1997, an explosive car crash following a kidnapping attempt, was a dramatic end to a role that had captivated fans and left a lasting legacy on the show. Beyond Coronation Street, Hinsliff's career included roles in comedy dramas like Brass and Two Doctor Who Stories. He continued to act well into his later years, even guest starring on Holby City in 2010. Known for his warmth and commitment to his craft, Hinsliff's work has been a cherished part of British television history. Jeffrey Hinsliff's legacy will live on in the memorable characters he brought to life, his dedication to his art, and the fond memories he leaves behind with his family, colleagues, and fans. He will be dearly missed by all who knew him and by those who admired his work on screen. Breaking news. News 1. Former actress Emily Willis, real name Litsy Lara Banulos, is currently in a partial vegetative state following a cardiac arrest that led to a coma. Despite her ability to track movements with her eyes and display emotions, her stepfather, Michael, has revealed that doctors are uncertain about the extent of her potential recovery. Willis became ill while in a rehabilitation facility, and thorough toxicology reports confirmed there were no drugs in her system at the time. Her family awaits further medical reports to help understand what triggered the cardiac arrest. Support has been pouring in for Willis and her family, who are making plans to transfer her to St. George, Utah for ongoing care, allowing her to be closer to her loved ones. A GoFundMe campaign launched to assist with medical expenses quickly surpassed its $60,000 goal, gathering over 1,200 donations and nearing $70,000. While the path to recovery remains uncertain, the unwavering support from the community provides a steady source of strength and hope for Willis and her family during this challenging period. News 2 Cian Scale, a rising star in the modeling world, 
has tragically passed away at age 28 following a courageous battle with a rare incurable cancer. Her family shared that Scale died at Melbourne's Peter McCallum Center, surrounded by loved ones. Known for her striking beauty and unique style, Scale worked with top fashion houses, including Marc Jacobs, Burberry and Chanel, and was represented by Chadwick Models. She graced the pages of Vogue and Vanity Fair, making a lasting impact on the fashion industry. Sian faced this last year with grace, acceptance, and an unwavering optimism, her family stated. She was determined and never let her illness change her adventurous spirit. Born in Mansfield, Scale was equally at home on the family farm as she was on the runway. Her family recalls her resilience, noting the time they took her straight from a camping trip to the Melbourne Fashion Festival. In her memory, Chadwick models celebrated her as a bright, unique light who followed her own path fearlessly. Scale's final wish was for people to donate blood, which she saw as the ultimate gift of life.